Our names are Mr. and Mrs. Okechuku, Emmanuel and Anufuru De Okafo. I will hear from Imo State and also local government, Ihitenansa. I have come to glorify the name of God and uh, to the shame of the devil. Our testimony, first of all, from my wife and kid here. Before she gave back to this, our daughter, at the last month of her pregnancy, she was having a high BP. And this BP is uncontrollable. So we, we took, I took her to hospitals and I, uh, the doctors placed her on drugs. But at the time, that was when I have never discovered Zion. Because we started coming last year through the help of someone. So after everything uh, we went through and uh, God saved us and the baby was delivered without any problem. So a friend of mine introduced us to Zion and we started coming to Zion ministry. So, and the thing, since we started coming to this ministry, things no longer remain the same. There is God in Zion. Yes. So, uh, we, I, we, we got used to the, the seraphic water and the seraphic oil, and I continue to minister her, it to her. We also keyed into the online prayers, the open heaven. We don't normally miss it every night. <laughs> Not until the 31st of December, I made my prayer resolution to God. You know, that day, our, that day asked us to tell God what God, what we want God to do for us, and also promise God what we will do for God. So, I, after my resolution, I promised God that every month in this 2023, I will be supporting Zion with a certain amount of money every month. Whether there is business or no business, it is my duty to do so. And I kept to that promise. And since then, God of Zion has never ceased to bless me. In the month of January, I did it, and he blessed me. And the one that shocked me was, even in this period of cashless economy, in this February, an old friend of mine, I stumbled to his WhatsApp page, and uh, I saw his status, I commented on his status, and he, he responded back to me, saying that he has forgotten me for long, that he never knew I was into so, so, so business, you know, that he has a container filled with it now. Now, I said, okay, fine, how many do you have? He said about 600 units. I said, fine, let me make some calls and see what I can do. I began to call my customers, the ones in the east and west, and to the glory of God, two persons responded to that item. And one of them happens to be someone who has been owing me since November, almost a million. So I told him, and just like magic, I was talking to him, he was replying that he needs about 800 pieces. I said, no, it's not up to 800. This is 600 units. And he said, okay, can he get up to 300? I said, yes, you can. The other one called from the east that he needed about 50 pieces of it. It's just like joke, you know. So I told him that if you want us to do it, the, the, the only the deal start now. I need money. Send money. And then the next day, he sent money for that item. I was, and after sending the money, he asked me that I should put my old balance. Remember, our daddy told us that those people who are owing us will not rest until they pay us our money. He asked me to add my old balance, which I added, and he paid in full. Unlike before, when he wants to buy, he pays in percentage, and after, we can counterbalance. But this time around, he pays in full. And the amount of money he paid was 17 point something million. In this time of cashless economy, it was in full, not half. So... I did the business, I delivered the goods, and to the glory of God, everything went well. And that is why I have come here to testify Amen. to the goodness of God. Thank you.